When you're dealing with complex equations, there are two very important things to remember. So the first is that a complex number is actually a pair of real numbers. So recall that z equals x plus i y, and these are each actually real numbers. And the second thing is that any equation involving complex numbers is actually two equations involving real numbers. So we're going to do a little example uh, just to try to explain the second part a little better. So you're asked to find x and y if uh, x plus i y squared equals 2i. So the first thing we do is we figure out this left term, so x plus i y and x plus i y and we're just gonna foil it out so the first term is x squared and then x times i y is plus i x y then again we have another i x y and then we have i squared and y squared and recall that i squared is just negative one so we can write this another way now you can say that x squared plus two i x y minus y squared and so now what we want to do is we want to group the uh, these two terms together and then notice how this has x and y and i there, so we're actually going to group this uh, with this other term up here, because then the i's will cancel out. So, so we're going to get two equations involving real numbers out of this. And so the first equation is going to be x squared plus y squared equals zero, or x squared equals y squared equation one and equation two is going to be two i x y equals two i so we've grouped these two together and then you notice that these i's are going to cancel leaving us with two x y equals 2. And so now we need to uh, figure out what uh, x and y can be equal to. And so from the first equation we see that you know y can be equal to x or that y could equal negative x. And so we're going to sub these in, so sub into equation 2 now. And so when we do that, we get 2 times x times, well, y is now x again, so 2 times x times x, which is just 2x squared um, equals... 2, which is just for simplicity, I'll remove this now. So this is our first equation, and our second is 2, um, or sorry, negative 2x squared equals 2. So we've now subbed in this here. And over here we subbed in this, hopefully you can see that. And now, you know, since x, so since x is real, and we know this because that's how it's defined, so x is real, then x squared cannot be negative. So this is, this is very important as well. So x is definitely real, so we cannot have a square root of a negative number. Therefore, 
x squared can't be negative. So this leads us to the understanding that x squared is equal to 1 and y is equal to x and therefore x equals y which equals 1 and x equals y which equals negative 1 and so x squared can't be negative but in this case x equals y equals negative 1 will call that negative 1 squared is still just 1. And over here, just 1 squared is still just 1. Okay, we're going to do uh, another example just to, to get you a little more used to this, and that'll be in the next video.